from a man who is no stranger to the Balloon Fiesta. We've collaborated with him for several years in a row now. Uh, President of the Clark International Airport Corporation, uh, Mr. Chichos Luciano. Sir. Oh, good yeah. afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Joy. Uh, I know that uh, Art, uh, certainly we're looking forward to another great event uh, in Clark, Hot Air Balloon uh, Fiesta. And uh, we also looking forward to it becoming even greater than all the previous prior Hot Air Balloon Fiesta in Clark. And as uh, the event says, an event of everything and anything that flies. Art being an aviation center, anything that flies. So certainly, uh, Hunter Balloon is very suitable in Clark. So in behalf of the CIAC, Clark National Airport, we uh, assure you of our full support to this event. And we would like to be really part of the Hunter Balloon. Festival in Clark every year. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Luciano. And of course, um, people are probably wondering, well, there's a bit of confusion exactly who was running with this balloon fiesta or that balloon fiesta. Well, we'd like to let you know who we are, exactly who the people are behind the Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. We'd like to start off with the prime mover, the relentless and continuous force that, 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 that keeps the Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta going. We're talking about none other than our main event director and the president of the Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta Foundation, none other than Captain Joy Roa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Before I start, I think not everybody has been to the fiesta. <laughs> I just wanted to share a one-minute uh, film for everybody just to get to know what the Balloon Fiesta is all about. Instructor, 
Country Director, ASEAN High Council. Documentation in Operating Manual, Terry Hockenhaw. Ultralight Pilot and Instructor, former President, Angela City Flying Club. In Charge of External Affairs, Ambassador Jose Saide, Retired Ambassador to France, Germany, Russia, Permanent Delegate to, the, to UNESCO, Former Chief of Protocol DFA, and now Newspaper Columnist. <laughs> Operations Officer, Captain Bong Velasco, Retired Air Force Officer, Former CAAP Inspector, King Air Pilot. Sorry, that is very long. Admin, Butch Duque, RC Aircraft Pilot. Logistics, Ben Roa, Licensed Balloon Pilot, Manager for Maintenance and Repair Organization. Site Manager, Joel Pahe, RC Aircraft Developer and Pilot, Aerial Drone Videographer. Site Planning, Oliver Sia, Aeromodeler, Architect. Site Development, Toto Hugo, Architect, Construction Contractor. General Aviation, in charge of General Vinnie Reno, Private Pilot. Aircraft Manufacturing Company Owner, Owner, Tui Batangas Airstrip. Another for General Aviation, Nestor Levanza, Flying School Owner, Helicopter and Fixed Wing Pilot, Military Reservist. In charge of the Fixed Wing, Spike Roa, King Air Captain, Flight Operations Manager. Rotary Wing, June Tabor Lupa, Former Navy Officer, Active Search and Rescue Helicopter Pilot. Ultralights, Erwin De Matera, Former Aircraft Pilot, Ultralight Pilot, RC Modeler, and Drone Videographer. In charge for the Microlights, Albert Mendoza, Microlight Pilot and Instructor. In charge for Paragliders, Randall Hugo Raimundo, President Philippine Paragliding and Hand Gliding Association, Paraglider Pilot and Instructor, Philippine Representative for Paragliding Competition. Skydiving, John R. Carlos, most senior and active member of PNP Skydiving Team. Police Senior Superintendent, Chief Liaison Officer for Legislative Affairs, Senate and House of Representatives. Radio Control, Dennis Baltasar, President, Remote Control of Aviation Community, T3. Private Pilot License Holder, Aviation School Owner. Kite Activities, Orling Omkiko, President, Kite Association of the Philippines. Deputy President, ASEAN Kite Council. IT Services and Aircraft Ramp Parking Movement, Tito Sarmago, Flight Simulator Programmer, Aero Modeler. Security, Robert Ruiz, Security and Firearm Specialist, Accredited VIP Security Instructor, Emergency Medical Responder, CPR and AED. Dr. Ogi Cruz, former Department of Health EMS Team Leader, former Instructor, DOH Basic Life Support and First Aid. Trained with Mass Casualty Evacuation, Certified Security Professional. EMS Jaime Laka, Airport Fire Chief for 30 years, firefighting, firefighter trained for fighter jets and attack helicopters. Multiple, multiple foreign trainings for airport full-scale exercise. Media Relation, Jimmy Manila, Officer Guide Association of the Philippines, Milet Vibrak, PR Practitioner, School Display and Hangar Display, Aero Modeler, UP Professor. Display Booths, Kathy Levanza, Great Forwarder Executive, Event Exhibition and Display Contractor. And we'd like to thank, of course, our sponsors who have been with us from the beginning and still continue to work with us, UPS, Business World, Brightwing, Segway, Bose, Popico, Yellow Cab, Rudy Project, Hot Dog Sticks, Prudential Guarantee, 8990, and of course, Radio Republic for our activities during the Saturday nights and Sunday nights. So, just a short story of how we started. I started uh, 
with the Balloon Fiesta in 1997. It was the fourth. Uh, it was started by Mina Gabor. Is uh, Mina Gabor around? She said she was coming today. Not yet here. Uh, she said she was coming. And at that time, we didn't have any money. We were all chipping in uh, with our savings, trying to get this thing going. We had 15,000 spectators, and we were all jumping and saying, Wow, what a great fiesta. So this is also our poster for the fourth Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. And then we move on to the fifth. We had, it was the first time I sold several balloons with Philip Cruz, Milo, and uh, of course I had my first uh, new balloon. And then we had the sixth. We had the seventh. We had the eighth. We had the ninth. And we had a 10, and we had an 11, and this was the only time that we were starting to make a little money out of this. We were all struggling to get it going. It was all hard work, uh, all volunteering to do this work for everybody to enjoy Aviation. And in 2008, we started the scholarship for the Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. And we started the grads in 2008. We had the 14, we skipped 13 intentionally, but in the 14, we had 55,369 spectators. We had 163 sorties. Sorties are flights of airplane, balloons, and what have you. By the 15, we had 67,208 spectators. We had 3,713 participants and volunteers. And we were flying 400 sorties in the four days. By the 16th, we celebrated the 100 years of aviation. We tried to fly 100 airplanes in the air at, at any one time. We had 79,000 spectators, 79,104 spectators. We had 4,545 participants and volunteers. And we had 480 sorties, excluding the 100 airplanes that were trying to fly all together. We only made 75. We did not make the 100. By 17, we had 89,577 spectators. We had 4,676 participants and volunteers. And we had 544 sorties. By 18, we had 102 and 68 spectators. We had 5,011 participants and volunteers. And we had 421 sorties only because we were rained out for one day. And by 2013, we have 15 hot air balloon fiesta scholars that have graduated or are still in school today. Hot air balloon was a lot of hard work for the whole organizing committee. We've had it for several years. We'd like to continue on working again for the next year. And now, just to, uh, you know, every time we try to crack our brains and figure out, none of us are artistic, so all the souvenir program, all the posters are made by uh, uh, each individual contribution and uh, only, uh, only Mel Silvestre is a UP professor who tries to give us the right direction. But most of us are not artistic. But this year, we'd like to uh, break the tradition. Um, everybody is volunteering to help the Balloon Fiesta. And I have just recruited uh, one of the international, internationally known Filipino artists, Manuel Baltimore. And Manny was forced to be a volunteer. Manny has 
design our poster for 2015. And we'd like to call uh, Attorney Arnell and Manny to open our poster for everybody to see. So ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the unveiling of the poster design for the 19th Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta executed by one of our very gracious volunteers, national artist, Manuel Baldemar. Gentlemen, you may reveal the poster. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Done by no less than a national artist. Very Filipino, but still very much in keeping with the color of the hot air balloon fiesta. Maybe I will just ask uh, Manny to tell us why he thought of this design. Well, this is all about Philippines, and uh, well, we have a, a lovely country that's the only one that we got. And I designed this for my friend, uh, Joy Orwa. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Okay, just a few more seconds for photo opportunity. First, we have uh, from right, from left to right, we have uh, Mr. Chicho Luciano of SIAP. Attorney Arthur Tugade, of course, of Clark Development Corporation, and Attorney Arnel Casanova of the Basis Conversion Development Authority. And of course, National Artist Manuel Valdemore and Captain Joy Roa. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing the signing of the Memorandum of Agreement between the Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta Foundation, the Basis Conversion Development Authority, Clark Development Corporation, Clark International Airport Corporation. This is the memorandum signing for the 19th Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. 